really think, I didn't even really think it was we were making a movie. It's no surprise that we are thrilled to see Batman return to the screen, and with the positive reviews coming in by the truckloads, we're curious to see what made the magic happen. So pull out those batarangs and get ready for the behind the scenes scoop of what really went into the filming of Matt Reeves' The Batman. Number 1. It's apparent that any actor who plays Batman will need to hit the gym at some point in their life. Training is a lot more it's a lot more fun when you kind of get good at it. This was the case for when Robert Pattinson took on the reins of this character, and he really did quite enjoy the workout process. For a while, he was put on an intense diet and training regimen before and during the filming process. But only after six weeks, he got a little sick of it. Once you pass over the six week mark, <laughs> then, then it's all right. It's got to be difficult drastically switching up your diet and routine for a film, but he did take it seriously, and it turned out pretty good for him in the end as director Matt Reeves really wanted him prepared shirtless for the trailers. Number 2. Pattinson always had an affinity for style, but his most recent fashion statement included a suitcase full of comic books. Was traveling with stacks of Batman comics. Reeves' story embodied the Batman comics and their noir nature, which prompted Robert to head to his nearest comic book shop. He found so many of them that he liked, and of course, that fit within the director's vision, that he apparently needed a whole suitcase to fit them in. And he's been doing this since 2019. That's a lot of reading. I think I must have read just so many. Number 3. Some of the cast didn't need to go far from their homes for filming The Batman. In fact, a lot of the shooting was done in the UK. The sense of realism filmmakers wanted to make for their set pushed them to more Gotham-like architecture. And at least for Pattinson and Colin Farrell, they were home sweet home. Of course, they gave a break to some of the American actors when they filmed at the California sound stages. Number 4. Every time a new trailer came out, we got to see a new look at the extravagant set designs by production designer James Chinland, and the cast was just as mesmerized. I've never seen Gotham look so, so much of a character. It kind of felt like stepping into a different world every time cast members and crew went to work, and even helped form a lot of the great performances we get to see. As they wanted to create the most realistic looks for the film, they chose a lot of landmarks throughout the UK. But the real work came in when they built the interiors at sound stages in California. Wayne Manor in particular was so convincing that it just set the tone for the whole idea of the If I can teach myself a new language while juggling fire, so can you. Well, not the fire part. Don't try this at home. Diga, give me a cup of tea, please. Dame una taza de té, por favor. Listen to this app for just 30 minutes and you'll start speaking Spanish, French, Japanese, or 51 other languages. It's that easy. Check the link in the description and comments of this video to start your journey. production design aspect. Number 5. The COVID-19 pandemic rocked the world, along with the Hollywood industry shutting down mid-productions and causing mass uncertainty. For Matt Reeves, he was almost in the middle of filming his movie, and they ended up having to shut down for months. But they finally got to return, putting Paul Dano to work first, since his scenes were more isolated. Dano really didn't have a problem with this, and the ball started rolling for production again. Unfortunately, however, production came to a halt yet again when Batman himself caught COVID. We remember being uncertain as to whether Robert's sickness was going to affect the film's future, but have no fear because they pushed on and the film was finally finished. Number 6. Along with Pattinson, Catwoman actress Zoe Kravitz had a lot of legacies to look up to for her iconic role. The same thing they did, which is, you know, own it, own it. But she wanted to only take a few aspects of their characters and push far away from all the Catwoman stereotypes. Not only did she make a big point of this when developing her character, but she only wanted to make Selina Kyle as human as possible. And of course, still weave in a little feline aspects in as well. 
Number 7. This one doesn't surprise us all that much. Considering Penguin's makeup design from the trailer even kept us guessing as to who it was. The cast and crew were pretty dumbfounded when Colin Farrell arrived on set in his Penguin prosthetics. That even Zoe was not accepting it. It was probably Farrell's brilliant acting and amazing makeup that just convinced her that it couldn't be him. And she wasn't the only one. Jim Gordon actor Jeffrey Wright had a few words about his initial look of Colin. I walked right past him. Farrell ate this up and always took advantage of his new look, and even got a leg up on the acting method with the prosthetics. Number 8. It's hard to kick off an intense action film with a flirty fight. Pattinson and Zoe both had some issues selling the brawl. How to do like a flirty punch. <laughs> Though it's very common that a film's shoot lineup mixes the scenes around. So what was the problem? They were just thrown into the scene the first day of filming. Not that they didn't have rehearsals though. They were able to rehearse the fight a little with their respective stunt doubles and each other of course. All it took was the right flirty punch. And now they were truly the bat and cat in action. Number 9. Sometimes parents can overstate their child's achievements. And even though Zoe Kravitz earned such a legendary role, her father may have told his friends about the wrong movie. Dad, it's, it's the Batman. <laughs> I know you love me, but it's the Batman. Lenny Kravitz was uber excited to tell all of his friends and family that his daughter was the star of, not the Batman, but of the Catwoman. So cute that her dad is showing the love. But poor Kravitz felt a little parental embarrassment when it leaked to the press. Number 10. Wearing a heavy costume, delivering lines, and fighting under hot lights is enough to make anyone exert themselves. Which is directly in between. It would drop directly between Zoe's eyes. Once Robert initially put on the costume, he felt so much power and thought he could do anything. But when he actually had to physically fight in it, the sweat started to rain down on his co-stars. It really got Kravitz when they started filming the more intimate fighting scenes. But she knew how much it bothered Robert, and that they simply just couldn't get around that. Number 11. We know that this realistic take of the Batman means that everything has to be real, and Robert really has to get close to a real-life bat in one of the scenes. It's one of the strangely difficult scenes. As Batman follows Riddler's clues, he comes across a cage with a message that is guarded by a bat. Maybe Bruce Wayne was facing his biggest fear, but fortunately for Pattinson, he kind of likes the little creatures. The only hard part for him was trying to wedge his big suit arm into the cage. They look so <laughs> awkward, you're like, Oh! Number 12. There was 